Welcome to part three of this video tutorial in how to operate Middle VR and Unity together. Uh, what we have here is the same project as before. As you can see, we've got the lights and the objects with the same geometry. And this is where the tutorial two left off. So we've got the MVR uh, nodes a sub uh, folder or subgroup with the MVR interact script linked to it. So if we hit the play button, as we expected last time, we get our view and we also have the ability then to change the object colors by pressing buttons on the remote control and navigate around. Now, how do we actually make this so we can then use it on the four walls of a cave? Well, it's as simple as going to file up at the top, build settings, and add current. So we're going to add the current scene. So here in this case, the scenes folder 3.mvr button interact. So this was our last scene which included the button interaction. Now, because we're publishing to PC, we'll have this one selected. Target platform windows, architecture x86. Although this is a 64 bit computer, we're still waiting for a stable version of 64 bit. Uh, on the middle VR so that we can use it in 64 but it's coming um, also development build unchecked now these are the standard settings you can go into the further player settings if you want but generally everything is already done um, if you're wanting to do real-time lighting and things you want your render path to be forward uh, this gives you the ability to do real-time shadows as well um, but this is all you need and you just hit build. I wouldn't hit build and run for the moment and I'll explain why in a second. So hit build, choose where you want it to go. So in this case we're going to call this button interact and then we're going to hit save. So what this is doing now is it's compiling everything down to the standard Unity scripts and making it into a format that it can then play. So we now have this button interact.exe We've also, as you see, button interact underscore data. So this is the data folder generated by Unity, which contains all the resources for that EXE. Now, what we're going to do, nice and simple, is come over and we're going to load up middle VR. So it takes a couple of seconds to load. As before, we've got the default settings in here. We're going to go to our simulations tab. We're going to hit the plus button here. This allows us to add a simulation. We're then going to go and navigate down to wherever we stored it. Um, easier said than done because I can't remember what it's called. Give me two seconds. Where the hell did you store it? Uh, oh right, that makes that makes far too much sense for my brain. So it's in the C drive in the middle VR how to vids Unity test, and here you see the EXE button interact. So we just double click on that, you see it's now been added to this simulations list. So there's other simulations that I've done in the past, but this one is the one we're interested in, button interact. So we select this. Also, we've got multiple configurations. In this case, the o no open GL is a 2D version, we're wanting it in 3D. Stereoscopic, so I'm choosing config v5, which is the same configuration file I chose within Unity. Now this allows you to redeploy in multiple configurations whilst not changing your Unity code. So even if you were to choose no open GL in the Unity, you could then force it to run a different configuration file. And you can see here the current command line changes as we change the settings. So we're going to go cave config v5, button interact, and then we're going to hit run. Now, this will ask you to load the configuration. Fine. The problem with this is, and as you're going to see, the screen capture here is only grabbing the back wall. So this is what we're seeing straight in front of us. Um, we're not seeing this on the other screens, um, as I say, because we're only getting one. But what you can see here is the stereoscopic view already going 60 frames a second with the ability to change the colour of the object, rotate the object around, fly around the environment. Now, as you can see, we can spin around, see multiple objects. The problem is, as I say, the screen capture is only on a single screen. So you're just going to take my word for it. This is running on all of them. And remember, if you hit escape, that cancels out of your simulation. And you're back to this screen. Simple as that. So that is how to get your Unity simulation running in the cave. 